welcome back. We are going to take a look at molar volume and how to solve for the number of moles of a gas in a given volume. So the first thing we need to remember is Avogadro's law. And Avogadro's law says that at standard temperature and pressure, at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas occupies the same volume same volume and that volume is known as molar volume and it is a constant again at standard temperature and pressure and molar volume is equal to 22.7 liters per mole or you may use the unit 22.7 decimeters cubed per mole and one decimeter cubed is equal to one liter. Those are interchangeable. So any gas at standard temperature and pressure occupies 22.7 liters for one mole of that gas. And let's just refresh. Standard temperature is 273 Kelvin, which is zero degrees Celsius. And standard pressure is 100 kilopascals or 1 times 10 to the fifth pascals. So there is a formula that we can use to solve for the number of moles of a gas. N is equal to volume over molar volume. Volume over molar volume. Remember, N is the letter that we use for the number of moles. So we can easily solve for the number of moles in a given sample of gas if we know the volume of that gas. So let's try an example. If we have neon at standard temperature and pressure, and it has a volume of 150 milliliters, how many moles of neon are in that area? So we can use our formula N equals V over molar volume we're solving for N, so we just need to take our volume over the molar volume, but we do need to double check our units. We have 150 milliliters, so 150 milliliters. We need the unit liters because molar volume is 22.7 liters per mole or 22.7 decimeters cubed per mole. So I need to convert milliliters into liters, and I can do that by using dimensional analysis. There's 1,000 milliliters in one liter, so 150 divided by 1,000, 0.150 liters is my volume. So now we can just plug that right into our formula. N is equal to 0.15 liters over 22 0.7 liters per mole. My liters will cancel out because mole is on the bottom of a fraction that's already under a fraction. It actually comes all the way back to the top, which is the unit that we need because we're solving for N. So 0 0.150 divided by 22.7 is 0 0.00661 moles of neon in a volume of 0.15 liters. And just a note here, milliliter is the same as centimeters cubed. So if you were given 150 centimeters cubed, you would still have to divide by 1000 so that your unit would be decimeters cubed per mole. The only units that we can use for molar volume are liters per mole or decimeters cubed per mole. Let's try one more example. We can use this formula to solve for volume as well. So what if I had 0.02 grams of helium and I wanted to know what volume this gas occupies? What is the volume of 0.2 grams of helium? I still have my formula N equals V over molar volume, but this time I'm solving for V so I need to multiply my molar volume over to the other side to get V by itself. So N times molar volume is equal to V. 
I was not given N, I was actually given the amount of grams of helium. So my first step is to convert that into moles. So 0 0.20 grams of helium multiply by our conversion factor, one mole of helium over 4.00 grams of helium because one mole is equal to the molar mass, which is 4.00 grams. So 0.2 divided by 4.00 gives us 0 0.05 moles of helium. Now we're just going to plug that into our formula. V is equal to 0.5 moles times 22.7 liters per mole. Notice I have a mole on top of a fraction, because technically I could put over one, and I have a mole on the bottom of my fraction, so those do cancel out, and I'm left with the unit liter, which is exactly what I need for volume. So I have 0 0.05 times 22.7, which is equal to 1.1 liters of helium. So 0 0.2 grams that I started with of helium only occupies a volume of 1.1 liters. And remember that is also the same as 1.1 decimeters cubed if that is your preferred unit. I hope this was helpful. I will put up more questions on how to work with gases and specifically the gas laws because I know those can be tricky as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this video helped you, make sure and subscribe to my channel.